Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, yeah, I'm really, really sick right now, but I definitely had to film this video and try my best to get up for you guys. I also didn't know how bad I sound until I just started talking right now, so I really do apologize for that. Sorry if my eyes are really, really squinty right now. It's just that I'm really congested, so they're automatically like puffy, and then this light is just really bright right now. So, it's a lot of things working against me, but I still wanted to get this video out. So with the new year, everyone makes New Year's resolutions all the time, and I feel like this time of the month, the resolutions kind of just died down because the hype of the new year is pretty much over at this point, and people just kind of realize that you know, New Year's Eve was actually just a Thursday, and the New Year's Day was a Friday, and nothing really changed. But I'm here today to show you guys, not to show you, but to tell you that, you know, you can keep your New Year's resolutions, and these are just some tips that I like to do every New Year to make changes to my life, to make it seem like they're big enough changes where my New Year's resolutions can still happen. This video is actually even better than you guys thought because it's actually a Ruby Remix collab with my best friends here on YouTube. I've done Clouds with them before. It is with Kenzie, Elizabeth, Danielle Marie, and Jasmine Sky are my absolute best friends of life. And we are all doing videos like this together. So please be sure to go check out their videos at the end of this video. There'll be videos similar to this sort of concept. So if this interests you guys, please go be sure to check out their videos. And let's just get started. The first thing that I love doing about the new year and that Planner Freaks will agree with me is getting a new planner is easily the best thing of about the new year because it is a fresh start. I love getting new planners, it really changes everything. It's like a fresh start, it just makes you feel really good and like super organized. This one is my favorite, it's the Simplified Planner by Emily Lay. This, I've just fallen in love with this planner. I'll probably do an entire video about it because it's just that awesome. What's really cool about this planner specifically is that it has a bucket list for 2016 so you can write down everything that you guys want to do this year. And having this where you write down your stuff every single day is just a good reminder of your goals and of your resolutions and it really makes you able to keep them. Planners like this can also be super fun to play around with because you can make them have different colored pens, you can get like cute wash tape, washi tape, wash tape, whatever it's called, uh, stickers, like there's just so much you guys can do to like personalize a planner to really make it your own and really feel like you're getting stuff done in 2016, even if you're just like laying on your couch watching Friends. You can still feel like you're getting stuff done with a new planner and make it look cute. You can write in, watch Friends, and check it off the to-do list and you'll feel amazing. I don't know about you guys, but every time I change like my background on my phone or if I reorganize my apps on my phone, I feel like a whole new person. Let alone when I get a new case on my phone, I literally feel transformed. So in this case, I actually customized myself on HerWalmart.com. To customize it, it was really simple. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to do it as well. Um, basically, all that I did was I picked out the color, the pattern, and then the saying that I wanted, and I just got my initials because I'm super into the monogram lately. I'm wearing a monogram necklace right now. I got them on my phone case. Just like, I just want everyone to like know my initials, you know? If you want to not make your own customized phone case, they also have other ones on the website. And this one is a Minion phone case. If you guys are into Minions, they have Minion phone cases. These also have like interchangeable bumpers, so if you like don't like the pink and white combo that I have going on, you can do any other combo that you guys want. And if this sounds interesting, you guys, I'm also gonna have a sweepstakes up on my Instagram about how to enter to win gift cards to customize your own phone case, because I just think it's something simple that really changes up your phone, and your phone's in your hand like at all times. So whenever I have a new case on my phone, I just like it more, and I don't know, and like switching them up are really fun, so. If you guys, if you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna have a link down below. I encourage you guys to go make one, just to see what it's all about, it's really fun. Next thing is, I love doing this with my friends, is to go out with your friends, like go get coffee or whatever, and just go talk about your goals. Definitely when you are in it with someone else, it makes you so much more motivated to stay within your goals and to accomplish them and to get them done. Like for example, um, when I was in sixth grade, I ran a 10 mile race in Philadelphia, it's called Broad Street, it was ridiculous, I was insane, I don't know why I did that when I was 12, but I did. And I did it with my mom. And I, if I didn't do it with my mom, I probably wouldn't have finished the race. And then this year she's like, oh, you should do it again. So I'm like trying to do it again and my mom is doing it with me, but without my mom doing it, I probably would have stopped training by now. So something that's really fun is to always go get coffee with your friends and just talk about your goals and see what you guys want to do this year. It really just keeps you motivated and makes your friends want to do it as well. And just bouncing ideas off each other really is 
just a great way to hold each other accountable for their goals, you know, and make them accomplish what they want to accomplish this year. Finally, the last thing is to switch up your makeup look. Normally I go for like a super dramatic kind of look, but today I went very soft. I did I overlined my lips a little bit to make them a little bit bigger. It's just like any sort of new makeup look really makes you feel like a brand new person. So just remember, it's makeup, it can wash off. If you don't like it, that's fine. Take it off, redo it. It's just it's just something fun to try out. So I encourage you guys to try out a makeup look, see what you like, see what you don't like. And, you know, tweet me pictures because I definitely want to see it. When you guys have makeup and you just want to, like, take some new pictures of it and you just feel bummed by yourself, like, you'll never know what you like and what you don't like if you don't at least give some makeup looks a shot. I'm going to link some of my favorites down below if you guys want to check them out. But I would really encourage you guys to step outside your box and try something new. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments down below what your number one tip is for keeping your New Year's resolutions. And also, please be sure to go check out Kenzie's, Danielle's, and Jasmine's video. They are all going to be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!